Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the legendary Iron Man playthrough with the Ultramarines that are going to go into um, Operation Diamond Tower. 15 enemies we want to get into and we need to hack a workstation and it's just a normal mission. Return fire, officers and priests will do that and they have sealed armor on top of it which is going to make... Um, the non-existing technical useless so luckily we have figured that out let's go what okay we're seeing a turret right away well that is can only mean it's going to be fun Oscar Mike and let's double check. Wow. Hmm, if we say up here that might not be the best position. Death Neil definitely needs to stay down because he can pull himself up. Crusader on the other hand can move up and Namri can stay there. Oh wow, another turret. Great. Fabulous. Let me ask the following question. Could get the drone, but we could get that anyways next turn. Let's try to start with you. Not a kill, but heavy damage, that's good. Getting the drone. That is not good. Okay. I reconsider it is not getting the drone, apparently. Fantastic hit. Just trying to get good high ground. We do have um, we do have blade storm, so the guy is likely dead. Okay, fair enough. I'll comply for now. Big hit. I love it. Okay, so Namri moves up. More enemies. Pfft. 
Let's start with handing over an action to the DM. Killing the drone. That trigger is implacable, which means we can move, which would be helpful. We're going to kill this guy. And the scout will get away unscathed for this time. But we're pushing a bit further forward. Get the scout. Very nice. Prep the turret. Kill the turret. Get implacable as a free move. And we're moving forward. But before we're doing that, Let's scout. Eyes on hostile patrol. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you bring a scout. Packs. Wow, that's that's going to be intense. Look, reload Overwatch, and we're just Overwatching here. That should trigger. There we go. Just a little off. Unfortunately, just a couple of grazing shots. Okay, so. Hmm. Primary target, likely the Mac. We can't immediately kill it, not with one shot. Need a, potentially two for that. I don't want to dis uh, kill civilians. That'll give us a sizable penalty, um, um, a will penalty, and I don't want that to happen. I think that's the best we can do. If I move over here and we're just shredding through that, that would uh, work uh, work out well, wouldn't it? Hmm. 
the other option is high ground and then just taking shots really but also high ground here which is the cool thing about sparks right they can basically high ground wherever they want I think we're just taking the high ground instead of uh, shredding also prevents the zombie from coming for us let's get the mech mech down smack down nice little hit that's a two for one I'll just take the extra kill that's actually a two for two really good Need to get the turret. Which is why this one time I am actually starting here without uh, and not triggering death from above. Never mind. We critted my little death from above. Might as well use that for full reload because. Very soon we will require that. Oh, I thought we had already triggered this guy. Position us here, kill. I think we have everybody, so that would be another kill. But there is a last one that moved off screen. We'll just clean uh, clean up the map as much as possible. We got implacable and hit and run, which neatly gets us to here, so that we even have blade storm. moving up there is no need to push in deeper the DM uses this as a reload option we're having reinforcements coming in so I need a full magazine I think that's the entire map. Oh, 
Oh wow, the zombie really wants to reach us. Okay, so how do we clear up this mess? Advent Grenadier or Sector, we're going for the Grenadier. Get him down. But we might need the teamwork uh, figure that out as we go good sector it very much goes down Shinobi can do that next turn as well. Physical exertion outweighed. stun lancer. Gets critted. Into his stupid face. Shifted over an action, so she should have been able to double move. Well, since that's not a problem anymore, let's just make sure we're hacking. More reinforcements are incoming. And we're in a situation where we need to reload. We can still handle these reinforcements, but once there are more, it's going to be problematic. And I evac a little bit late. As you can appreciate, we're now pulling in reinforcements every single turn. That finishes the mission. Now we just need to hold on for three more rounds. Good, not a great chance, but. Overall, that was good. Whatever you say. That removes cover. And kills the guy, which is good. Finally. 
barrels to the face. Into implacable. Moves to here. That is actually on a bad position. Could easily jump down from there. Reload and steady the weapon for next turn. And that's the problem with the reinforcements, eh? Because we will get more and more every single round. And we still have a couple of rounds to go. Let's get the weird one that positions himself outside of reach. For implacable. Okay, well, that's barely enough of a hit for me. Should remove the cover. Not sure, but it should. Thank you. This gives a lot of uh, flanking over uh, um, flanking opportunities from there, and let's just get the mech up there. Like I said, the problem is always. Uh, to continue killing these enemies they come in with more and more force ratings and at some point they're uh, and in numbers of course and at some point they are just becoming crazily strong Also, at some point you're going to miss a shot <clears throat> and then <clears throat> things are not looking that great for you anymore.
Good. Not n not that long, but uh, we need to most of these guys down. Too little chance to hit this guy. Oh, let's move to here. Much better. Barely can't go into flanking. Finally. Moving as close as we can. Try to hit him. Nope. Steady weapon. And soon we're going to get out of here. Like Need to put... Back in. I think this is where we called in the backup. Let's do uh, the evac zone. So let's get close to it. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, um, it's a mutant centurion, right? That's a bit of a preview of how enemies in the near future are going to look like. AKA, not that great. This is Firebrand, it's time to go. Good, luckily we moved. Good, yeah, they will, they will bring stronger and stronger reinforcements until we are no longer able to keep up. Like that pack, for instance, don't think that I could have taken it down in a single go. Maybe, but that would have been pushing it. My biggest um, problem with <clears throat> high hit point, high force rating teams is that at some point with laser weapons, mutant centurions are just going to snicker about them. It's like what, 15, 16, 17 hit points, that's three hits to get this guy down by himself. I like the idea of shredding, but I also like Rainmaker. Not an easy decision, not an easy decision at all. Nineteen hours, yeah, <clears throat> not happening. Uh, 
Okay, a couple of things. Number one, our training was done, which means Grey Knights get uh, to train now. Number two, we do have new people in the armory. Halop has just joined us. Congratulations. Truly appreciate you being with us. You get the nice little brown that all of the gunners get. And as personal combat sim, let's give you perception. Okay, cool. Still have the shinobi training. I don't think we have anything to recruit. Good. Now we had a new mission popping up. Want to see what that is. In Elven operations, yeah, not happening as well. That is going, that is going, that is going. Yeah, all of them are going. That's the next liberation uh, mission. Might be something that uh, the Grey Knights can do. For East Asia. Exactly. Already took the right uh, team for that. And we would be able to go. Let me just uh, upgrade some of the equipment. Okay, so... I think that's a good uh, setup. We'll be able with those three to to get a scientist out of it. That's well, funny because we're getting more and more scientists with our approach. And liberation part two would be done there as well. So we're doing well, very well for ourselves, specifically with uh, the region being prepped already but we're not doing that well is uh, finding options to fight here that's the first supply rate I think that we've ever gotten that we've ever gotten with four days so let's just double check if any of uh, the teams could do that. The Ultramarines could do it with a boost. We're getting full salvage, that's the good part about it. Could use it as a trainings mission and just leave one person out. We're going in with four people. And that is a very much doable mission. That's a very much doable mission. Yeah, let me equip the guys. Okay, got the upgrades going and we're ready to just barely infiltrate that. I think we can beat the baseline that they have outlined without needing to speed anything up. And that now needs to go. I need to launch that mission, which means we're at the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. And have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.